We're so excited to have guests. Welcome back into our studio. So first up, I don't know if you're ready for him. Please join me as we welcome Mark Lampkin to the Great Day Live studio. Here he is. Woo! Yes. There you are. I can't wait. What? The first day back. I don't know if we can handle I'm you. I'm so excited. Oh, oh no social distancing no. on set. Come on over. I can't wait. Come on Thank over to so our much. set I from Cherry it. House Furniture Galleries, oh, right? Yeah. What do you think, Mark? Uh, thunder's over. It was great. <sighs> right. You guys did a great day covering, of right. course. Of but, course we um, did. We love it. Of we course we did. So right. happy to be here. So throughout the winter, one of the ways that we decided to creatively get through the winter in the way that we couldn't have guests in here, I'm like, let's do guest co-hosts, right? You were my first to. guest co-host that I had like out at your business. It's, like it's like a prom day, but different. Stop <laughs> it now. And so what was that when that was first presented to you? Because I had so many people tell me that was an amazing show whenever we co-hosted together because we were like a reality uh, show tell you me it, more you make it easy well okay. first of all the co-hosting is just so much fun it's natural when you have someone like you that's Don't a stop. pro you can follow it um but really i love make Louisville. checks payable to claudia <laughs> i love no. Louisville. I know you know you i love this yeah. hometown and and whas is such mm -hmm. a staple and just to to be able to be in the today the same room that Elvis and Johnny Cash has right? been in, right? The historic We're building. Fancy. It's great to have Just you back. It. And love it. We have loved at Great Day Live getting to know you, getting to know your business, especially getting to know your family. Yeah, thank you. Right, and you you've just mentioned over and over again just the way we've been able to kind of elevate and give you a space to talk about your business has been good for your business. It's been very good for the business. Good. In fact, you know, and I don't mind saying we we have done a little bit with everybody through the years and. Um, Great Day Live's been great for Lampkin Wealth Management. Also, Jennifer's Business Champions. Yes. We get calls. We get community awareness. We get branding. Um, and I'm not just saying that because we're here on Great Day Live. I mean, I, I'm well, a... Well, you told me this weekend when we return, talked. You're return like, on investment. Right. And, and, it's just and been Great really Day good. Live reaches. You have a loyal audience, a great audience, and um, we're happy to be a part of it. Well, since we have you here, I want to ask your expertise on something, right? This it. is something that I think I've heard a lot of people talking about. They get text messages, they get phone calls. My mother says she gets like hit every other day yeah. with these scams these days. They are so intricate, oh. Mark. And I'm just curious because, I mean, if I get them, sometimes I'm like, I'm never going to. It crushes me, yeah. yes. So there's a few things. Listen, there's one to $3 billion. 33 to 53% of seniors over the age of 65 have been hit by a financial scam. Mm -hmm. And the reason why that's so wide is because it's so underreported because people are embarrassed oh, when it happens to that. them and they shouldn't be. Yeah. Um, the, the top thing for everybody is we call it the felony flag, right? The felony it's, flag. It, if you put that red flag up on your mailbox, all I gotta do as a thief is just walk around, I mean, ride around, because you're not mailing junk mail, mm -hmm. you're mailing birthday cards or oh, checks. Oh gosh, I didn't think right? about that. Right, you're, yeah. And the second one is, is government scams. If I'm from the IRS, or Medicare or Social Security, I'm not going to call you and mm -mm. threaten to put you in jail if you don't send They're money right then. And we've had people lose money to that, right? Charity scams. Just think about Mayf Mayfield and the tornado. Yeah. I mean, just don't go to a normal GoFundMe crowd page. I mean, they can give 10%, keep 90% and stay out of jail. Romance scams are really big right now. There's lots. Hey, another thing I want to ask you about. Yeah. What about, uh, I understand there's a way uh, to kind of claim unclaimed money. There's oh, like money this, out there for me, it's right? It's a modern day treasure hunt. Yes. $500 million Kentucky has right now on unclaimed assets. So all you have to do is go to the Secretary of State page or go to the, um, the KentuckyTreasury.gov, put your name in. Have some fun with it. Put your friend's I was name in it. I'm putting other people's names in it. I put your name in it, but you didn't have anything. <laughs> because I keep track of my accounts. I'm <laughs> obsessing over it. But it's things like banking accounts or money markets or things. What, what typically yes, is if, it that you forget about? You do. If you How don't do have activity. How do people forget about money, Mark? They, they do. They don't have, if you don't have a certain amount of activity in six months, they can put you on that unclaimed list. $500 million. Seriously, I yes. found 80 bucks for me that I had in Bowling Green as a deposit in from the 80s at Western Kentucky That's University. That's crazy, yeah. So put those, those names in there. Listen, there's five, six, seven hundred thousand uh, um, dollars in, in people's found names. Found money is the best yes. money. Mark, I'm so happy to have you as our first Thank official you. guest here. Thank you, so this happy to really be here. Cool. Much more to come, right? All right, so if you are interested in getting more information or scheduling your first visit with Mark Lampkin, head over to lampkinwealth.com or give him a call at 690-6764.